All right, let's get right into it here. We're gonna continue with our QQQ analysis uh, on this 65 minute chart here. And uh, looks like we have new all time highs today on the NASDAQ. Led by uh, Apple here. Apple also printed new all time high, 7% positive. Perfect. And it lifted the entire market towards uh, like afternoon and the until the closing hour. As you can see, um, everything was negative this morning. Market gap down, but Spider turned positive. NASDAQ is, uh, you know, 0.7%. We got the only semis and the small caps slightly negative but looks like a majority of the sectors are positive and the nasdaq once again making historical highs here and it's been tra we've been tracking the we've been following up and tracking the island up gap we talked about this last week there's a down gap here there's an up gap there that's an island up gap that's why it gets the green box uh, versus a regular grayish bluish looking box and then it also gets the purple box because this is an island as long as this island remains open there's gonna be a lot of buying pressure here that's why it is imperative we understand these gaps and you can see we made a very swift move here we talked about the fact that the oscillator was hitting that overbought zone but what it needed to do, it needed to correct through time, needed that oscillator to reset because bulls are tired. While bulls are resting, as you can see for several days here, price managed to stay above my micro term. The aqua moving average there, as you can see, and the oscillator reset it. And, and when the oscillator reset, what we want to see is the oscillator not coming all the way back down to the bottom of his band because it wants to stay above. It wants to stay afloat. It wants to stay above the micro term, as you can see. So what it likes to do, it's going to uh, come down to the about middle of his band and it's going to cross back up. And that's about right here, as you can see. That oscillator crossed up. The micro term held, and as the buyers uh, have fully rested, right? Oscillator comes down, price moves sideways, correct through time. And once the uh, bulls have rested and get that oscillator to curl back up, you see the price to follow. That's exactly what we saw uh, back in, uh, you know, during mid-May. Very similar price action. Again, this is something we talked about on the last uh, Q's analysis I've done here. Pretty much exactly same setup. We see a gap up, makes a huge vertical run, extreme overbought on that oscillator, buyers needed to rest. But it does not want to see correct through price. It wants to see correction through time because they need that oscillator uh, you know, to reset instead of coming all the way to the bottom of his band because it wants to stay above the micro term because they want that bullish pressure, that bullish momentum to continue while the bulls are resting. So you can see how the oscillator reset and find support in the middle of his band not at the bottom but the middle of his band and then they thrust higher and and when we do see that a little bit deeper correction you do see that oscillator coming down all the way to the top of his or bottom of his band and a lot of times that occurs with the bearish divergence uh you know no, telling us that uh you know bulls are trying to keep that oscillator float right elevated as it oscillates as a top of his band but they can only do that for so long before then oscillator to oscillator need to fully reset right oh, wow. where are we going from here so as you can see i did a little fib work here that's the uh, uh that's the recent swing high that's the recent swing low 
So you can see we made that move, came down to retest first level of my FIB. And then you can see the FIB extension coming up here at 478.62. Is a possible targeted area here, 480 or so. But we do want to keep an eye on that oscillator. Even though that oscillator hits the upper band like this, which is probably could happen tomorrow if we do see a follow through. And it can grind higher for days, maybe in a week or two. But then that oscillator is going to continue. What the oscillator is going to do, it's not going to match up with that higher highs you see on that price action. You see there's a higher highs in the price action. But that oscillator is kind of making those lower highs, letting us know that the trend is, is sort of losing its momentum. Bulls really ran this thing up uh, quite uh in a prolonged duration they need to now the oscillator need to see a full reset right that would be sort of what could potentially happen nobody knows though how long it can continue in that uh while the process happens it's sort of like a you know like a, in a short to micro term topping process occurs before the next bigger correction but for now i think you know because we've seen that oscillator fully reset and we're maybe about here, right? And uh, I want to say that the uh, everything uh, is pretty much in an uptrend. We want to continue to give benefit of the doubt to the buyers. I've noticed that there's increasing uh, amount of bearish puts out there. Uh, and the uh, market just continues to make a move. It's sort of the thing about it is when the market makes a move like this and continue to make new all-time highs, if you're not being part of this market, obviously you're going to uh, feel a certain way about it. You're not going to be happy. You're not going to be celebrating the fact that market continues to illuminate bullish environment and continues to make new all-time highs. And a lot of times the people who are missed out on all of this move, they tend to flock to uh, the, 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 the bearish um, pulse right the bearish narratives because they had to they hate to see it they hate to see this market keep going higher without them so that's a lot of it psychological uh you know what you see on social media especially you know uh what gets most attraction you do want to go against the crowd you do not want to be part of the crowd you always want to go against the crowd